What's going on, everybody? I'm Howard Bender from Fantasy Alarm, and it's time now for your Fantasy Baseball Stock Watch. That's right. Just four or five games into the regular season, and player values are rising and falling as we would expect them to. The trick is, is to watch these players throughout the week, and then once you head into your Fantasy Baseball waiver wire, then you have a more educated understanding as to what to expect and who to add and who to drop. So let's play it right now. A little three up, three down. We'll start with the risers. Three up. Astro starting pitcher, Ronel Blanco. It's the easy one. It's the chalk move. He throws the first no-hitter of the 2024 season, and people are going to go banana cakes over him. I definitely think that he's worth investigating, at least for the time being. He's got a good solid fastball with a great changeup, and that's what kept everybody in Toronto off balance. Right, The delivery is the same. The release point is basically the same. It's just we're talking about an eight-mile-an-hour eight, eight mile an hour difference in velocity. So that's what's fooling the hitters. He does mix in his slider nicely, though he did hold back on that a little bit in this start. The key, though, to factor in is that he's facing the Texas Rangers in back-to-back -back starts, or at least that's what's scheduled for him coming up. Rangers are a very good fastball-hitting team. They do hit the change up very well, according to data as well. So you're going to have to be careful with him. I don't mind investigating. Just don't go overboard. Arizona Diamondbacks center fielder, Jake McCarthy. That's who you want to look at now with Alec Thomas on the IL. Thomas is sitting with either a grade one or grade two strain of that hamstring. And that could keep him out upwards of, of a month, depending on the strain and how severe it is. So Right now, he's on the 10-day IL, but it could be out for longer. Now, Jake McCarthy is going to be the guy who's going to get that work. And listen, if you lost Estieri Ruiz or you feel like you didn't get enough speed during your draft, now's the time to jump in on Jake McCarthy. He'll bat lower in the lineup, uh, probably ninth, but listen, he still has 20 stolen base potential. And when you look at that wraparound stack, that 9-1 of him and Corbin Carroll or him and Cattell Marte, it actually looks really nice. So keep an eye on Jake McCarthy. And then finally, how about J.D. Davis, third baseman for the Oakland A's? This one's for all you out there who lost Josh Young to a fractured wrist. Listen, J.D. Davis is a 20 home run bat when he's getting more than 140 games in a season. We've seen him do it twice, once with the Mets and once with San Francisco. All right. There's no pressure here in Oakland and he's going to see full time at bats. They don't have anybody else. There's nobody to pitch. You know, you're not going to pitch around them. You're just going to go and you're going to attack them. So while J.D. Davis is a guy who you know, isn't the be all end all and you might struggle with runs scored in RBI, you are getting power and he's probably going to hit closer to his uh, 262 uh, career batting average. On the way down, let's talk about our fallers, and we start with Aaron Nola. Yeah, listen, I'm not ready to give up on the guy after just, you know, one start here in the 2024 season, but diminishing strikeout rate over the last few years, more home runs allowed. He continued to tire out in the second half last year and showed another ERA spike. Now, I'm not saying you dump this guy, and I'm not saying you trade him for pennies on the dollar, but... I wouldn't bank on a return to form here. He's thrown a, an ERA of over four and a half uh, in two out of the last three seasons, and I don't really see it differentiating that much here this season. You'll get some good starts, but not what you're expecting. Uh, I'm going to go to outfielder Victor Scott of the St. Louis Cardinals and the old adage, you can't steal first base. Listen, a 35% strikeout rate is not going to do it. A 200 on-base percentage is not going to do it. We thought that Victor Scott was going to start the year in the minors to kind of hone that plate discipline, but injuries in the Cardinals outfield have given him that opportunity. He needs to step through the door here, and he needs to deliver, or he's going to get demoted as soon as either Tommy Edmond, Lars Newtbar, Dylan Carlson. When one of those guys comes back, if Victor Scott is not hitting, Victor Scott is going back to the minors. And then finally here, Eloy Jimenez. It hurts me to say it. I've been a huge fan of Eloy Jimenez, but he's already dealing with an adductor strain right now in his thigh. And while he's not being placed on the IL, he's going to be out for a couple of games. They're going to have to monitor him. And this is not a guy who's got a, a, a routine habit of staying healthy. It's great power when he's playing, 
but he's not playing very often. So watch out for Eloy Jimenez. If you invested in him, it wasn't a huge draft pick, but don't be afraid to cut bait. So there you have it, folks. Three up, three down, your fantasy baseball stock watch. I'm Howard Bender, the Fantasy Alarm. Be on the lookout. Full article on this in fantasyalarm.com, and I'll have your waiver wire action covered for you this weekend. Catch you next time.